Hello, and welcome again to Graphiculator YouTube channel. What it's looks like Will Smith and Martin Lawrence were in GTA series? Let's check out it. Okay, you have joined with another Photoshop tutorial. Let's check out how to create this GTA style cartoon effect in Photoshop. I have now opened this movie poster which I downloaded from Bad Boys Movie. And let's turn this into GTA style cartoon image. First of all I will create a duplicate layer from background layer. Press Ctrl J or Command J to create duplicate layer from selected layer. And rename it as color. Now I'm going to cut out these two peoples from background layer. Take the pen tool from toolbox, or you can press P in your keyboard to get pen tool. And then let's zoom up this image little bit like this. You can press Ctrl and plus keys to zoom up the image. It's Command and Plus in Mac. And start to draw around the image. Need to make this path accurate as much as possible. So it will take bit time to finish this. I will speed up this video so you no need to wait by biting your fingernails until I finish this. Okay let's go. Okay, done. Now select the color layer which we created, and convert this to a smart object by right clicking on the layer and click on convert to smart object. Then let's turn off this original layer for now. Now I'm going to create a vector mask around the path I created. Press and hold the control key and keyboard. Command on Mac, and click on the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layer palette. It will create a vector mask around the image. Alright. Now need to add some filters to this image. Select the color layer and go to the filters. Filter gallery. And click on poster edge filter which you can find under the artistic menu. Change the settings like below. Edge thickness to 0, edge intensity to 0, and posterization to 1. Now we can see that posterization effect in this image. Now I'm going to add second filter to this image, which is, oil paint. Select the color layer and go to the filters. Stylize, oil paint. Settings I'm going to use as is below. Brush to 5, cleanliness to 1.5, scale to 2, and make sure that lighting is turned off. Bristle details is depend on the lighting and we no need that because we turned off the lighting. Now you can see the posterization effects became smoother because of the oil paint effect on top of it. And now I need to add some black outline details to this image to make this more cartoonish look. To do that I need to make a duplicate layer for this color layer I'm working on. So select this layer and press Ctrl J or Command J on Mac to make this duplicate layer. You can now see that all the smart filters also duplicated with the layer. I will leave those as it is. I will rename the layer as outline. We can't see the layer name anyway. Then I will double click on the posterization filter to edit this filter. Click OK on this message. It will bring up back the filter gallery window with the settings we used previously. I will increase edge thickness and edge intensity to 1. Posterization is already set to 1 and I will leave it as it is. Now you can see that it brings up the black outline details in image. Click on OK. Now click on the outline layer and go to the image menu. Adjustment. Threshold. With this adjustment we can remove all color details by leaving only black details. We can adjust the black details in this threshold level. Let's keep this around 23. This looks okay. Now I need to keep all the black details in outline layer by removing whites. Easiest way to do this is change blending mode of this layer to multiply. It will remove all white details by leaving only black. Alright, now I'm going to create thick black outline around the image. It will help to increase GTA style cartoon effect. Ok, let's go. Click on the outline layer. Go to the bottom of the layer palette and click on add layer style button. Click on stroke. All set stroke width to 5 pixels. And set color to closet black color from image. Ok, this image now has more vectorized look with this outline. I will do some extra thing, I'm going to draw some black outlines manually to highlight this bit more. 
I will create new layer on top of the outline layer by clicking on new layer icon at the bottom of the layer palette. I will name this layer also as outlines. And go to the tool box and take brush tool. You can press B in keyboard to get brush tool. And set brush size to 5 pixels. This is the same thickness of the outline we created previously. Hardness set to 100%. Set color to same black color used for the stroke. Then draw these outline in these areas to make this more highlighted. Okay, this is now almost finished. Now I'm going to add background image for this. Go to the files. Place embedded. I will select this image and click on place. So this image will place to this file as a smart object. I will now move this background image all the way down so it sit under all other layers. And I will scale this background image and reposition it by pressing Ctrl T or Command T on Mac. I'm not going to make much color changes for this image because colors in this image already match with our edit. But I will add a gradient fill to the background to highlight our main characters in this image. Press Enter or Return key to apply the transform of background layer. Oops, there is a spelling mistake in here. I will fix it anyway. Now go back and select the background layer, and click on New Adjustment Layer icon. And click on Gradient. Click on the gradient to change the color. I will select an orange color to the starting point of the gradient. And I will leave end point as transparent as it is. Then I will change the blending mode of gradient layer to overlay. And reduce opacity to around 50%. Finally I will add GTA texts to this image as per the most of the GTA posters. I have already downloaded an image with these texts. Go to the files. Place embedded. And select this image and click on place. This image also placed as a smart object. I will resize this and position bottom of the left side of this image. Okay, this looks good, but one last change. I will add inner glow to the outline layer. Click on the outline layer, and click on add layer style icon. And click on inner glow. I will reduce the opacity little bit. I will select this kind of light orange color to this inner glow. Click OK. Okay, here you go, now we have Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in GTA series. Please hit the like button if you like this. And please share this video to see someone else also. And subscribe to my channel to see more video tutorials like this. And you can like us on Facebook. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram. See you again.